Very quickly, I'm going to go over the View tab on the Draw screen. Basically, you have Cube that goes through all the different 3D views of your drawing. So if you have a 3D viewing, or if you have points with heights on them, it's nice to go ahead and look at side views to see the different aspects of your drawing. If you want to see different side views, bottom view, top view, the tool is almost always by default in top view. Second, you have your Zoom Extents button. And what's nice about Zoom Extents is if you have anything thousands and thousands of feet away from the drawing for whatever reason, as it was drawn in AutoCAD, you can press this button, and if it looks like your drawing disappears, most likely when you use Zoom Extents, you have objects in your drawing that you need to delete, which must be done in AutoCAD, but at least you can use Zoom Extents to find it. This is your Zoom window. And I like to have this open sometimes because I like to zoom in with a square, but then I like to pan zoom out with my fingers and move around. But whenever I tap that button, I can zoom in by a square and then zoom out again on my own. You have the magnifying glass for zooming in and out. And then you have your orbit button that lets you use one finger and spin it around as you wish. This final one is your layer tab. And what's really nice about this is sometimes you might have a heavy drawing with a lot of material in that that's just kind of confusing you. For instance, in this drawing, if I want to lay out sleeves, let me zoom in so you can see where my sleeves are. These little pink circles are my sleeves. I can come over here to my cat layer tab and simply turn off my yellow layers and maybe even some of my layers that I see are black, just to get them out of the way, so that the only things remaining are my sleeves and what I want to actually see. So you can clean up the drawing a little bit by coming over here and removing CAD layers. I can turn them all off, and I can turn them all on with that button. There's also a Hilti Layers option, so your points as well can be put on specific layers. So if you want to layer your points, you have that option. Just go to your point menu and put them on certain layers and here is where you can edit the layers your points are on so you can even layer your points to make it easier to select certain points as well. I hope that helps. Feel free to leave questions in the comments.